Mark and I hiked the shoreline of Lake Superior yesterday. We saw different shoreline environments, especially relating to the soil. Some very brown, clay, uh, muddy shorelines. Then there were sandy shorelines, kind of a tannish colored sand to those shorelines. And also saw some shorelines that were very dark and we speculated that was probably weathered hematite that basically weathered out of the bedrock in the little sand particles essentially and accumulated along certain areas of the beach just high energy environments that would carry it and deposit it and so we found one spot maybe you know 20 feet long three feet wide four feet wide seven eight inches deep anyway then quite dig all the way through the layer so but so hematite that's you know 90% of the world's ore iron ore or iron I should say comes from hematite it's smelted to iron and this is actually a better form of hematite I mean it's this is actually magnetite it's highly attracted to magnets and magnetite and hematite are very similar just different oxides of iron and, and this actually very strongly attack uh, attracted the magnets the, the magnetite and also the difference between magnetite and uh, hematite is one will actually uh, keep a magnetic field after you expose it to a magnet and this does because this actually wants to even after I pull the magnet away it actually the whatever it's close to the magnet there actually kind of wants to re gel into a central spot after the magnets a long distance away so it means they actually magnetize the the particles in this tray here a little plastic tray but as you can see very magnetic and uh one online these people claim you can just take this magnetite or hematite mix it with charcoal if you got a crucible that's can take high temperatures 2300 degrees Fahrenheit you can actually smelt this and uh, you should get a uh, iron button at the bottom of your crucible at some point uh, then you can do stuff with it from there but uh, so that's kind of interesting that's a, so I just need the crucible and I can make it to the Iron Age so I thought that was pretty fascinating that you could just go from magnetite or hematite right to smelted iron so just need the charcoal and the crucible would be a fun science experiment it looked like that one spot we were at had like you know hundreds and hundreds of pounds of iron potential potentially right in that little spot so so I pulled the magnet away there's some kind of residual effect the particles are obviously magnetized and attracted to each other so that's why I'm claiming this is magnetite not hematite at least a good portion of its magnetite otherwise you want to see the the particles stick to each other